Hi, Dylan. How's it going? Good, buddy. Where's it get at? Perfect. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Oh, this is terrific. How's your day? It's good. Yeah? It's good. Yeah, well, you know, can't complain. Got a coffee what? at the Bean and uh, yep. just been hanging out on Main Street. Good, good. So, uh, why are you here on Nantucket? Well, look, I'm, I'm here. I'm running for state representative. Hey, how are you? Uh, and uh, and look, I, I'm, I'm running in the district. It's Falmouth, half of Falmouth, all of Martha's Vineyard, all in Nantucket. And I've been here for a couple of days now, staying down on uh, Fair Street uh, with the Vons, Pam and Foley over there. Yep. Um, and just been out, getting around, knocking on doors, meeting with people. And uh, You raising any money? Uh, I am here, um, I mean, we are on the campaign, certainly, but I'm here, I'm here not to raise money, I'm here to meet with people on this trip, and I think that's, you know, incredibly important, just to introduce myself to people, tell them what I'm all about, and tell them what our campaign's all about, uh, and the well, Before like. you do that, yeah. and uh, just how much money does it cost to, to run a campaign like this? You in, know, in it depends. Roughly. Generally around forty to $50,000. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, it's what people will tell you you should do. Okay. Um, which, you know, that probably makes, that probably makes sense. And, uh, and you know, that's a part of it. It's honestly my least favorite part of it, you know, is raising money. I much prefer to be uh, out talking with people about uh, issues. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about the opioid epidemic, mm -hmm. uh, something I worked on in the Attorney General's office. And, you know, housing issues are here. Are, are a huge issue here and across the district and uh, you know environmental stewardship is another tenant of our campaign that <clears throat> we've really been uh, talking with voters about. So the first step for you is to win the primary in September, mm -hmm. is that correct? September 8th. It's yeah. a Thursday this year which is a little off, a little different uh, and it's a Thursday after Labor Day so we're here uh, talking with folks about the Democratic primary uh, and, and we're running uh, for that. And, you know, Nantucket is an incredibly important, important piece of our district. And, um, and I gotta say, the past two days have been terrific. Just getting around here uh, across the island and meeting with people. Uh, so, how many people are running for that one position? Yeah, right? so on the Democratic side, there are four other candidates. Um, and, uh, uh, from across the district. Mm. And you know, we are, and I think, you know, and it's a very crowded field. And I think in that crowded field, we're really, our campaign's really making a big push uh, to stand out. And, you know, we've picked up a reunion endorsement in the race. And the Teachers Association has endorsed our campaign. And they have over 400 members in our district. And okay. that's such an important job. Too. So what's your background? Let's. You're a young yeah. guy. How old are you? Yeah, well, I'm 26. I'm 26, and so I'm young. So I bring a lot of energy to this. Um, Did you know? Yeah. When you were a young boy, like maybe in your teenage years, that you wanted to be in public service and. I. And you know, it was something that I'd always thought about. Um, and you know, look, I come from a family. Uh, my father grew up in extreme poverty in Falmouth. And is that such a? Is there such a thing as extreme poverty? I see, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's exactly. Uh, that's exactly what a lot of people don't realize. We have some really uh, uh, big issues around poverty here. Um, okay. And well, what is extreme hidden. poverty? It's what hidden. is that? Well, I mean, to, to give you some context, I suppose he, you know, and this he'll tell you a bunch of different stories. But one is that his his mother, my grandmother, used to pour out bath water once a day for all nine of her, of her children to bathe in. So that's pretty extreme poverty. Um, okay. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm not denying, I just want to see what you define it yeah. as. I mean, okay. I mean, but you know, and he, his father abandoned Well, how does that, how does that age. affect you as a, as a person? Why, why well, are you doing? I mean, so he, you know, he, he, he built a company, uh, you know, college was never an option for him, but yeah, drive, determination, built a company. Uh, work to see it grow, witness the reward of his hard work as I graduated from college, the first member of a very large Portuguese family to do so. And so I'm here today to give back to the community that's given 
my family and me so much. And I think that uh, that story has kind of instilled in me a sense of social justice uh, and it instilled that in me in a very early age. Did you know that you wanted to do what you wanted to be a politician when you were 15? I <laughs> know. <laughs> what <laughs> did you think not. you wanted to do? I knew I wanted to help people. Um, okay. And uh, that was always was really that part of your dad's uh, influence or your mom? Yeah, I think I think it's way? a family influence. I also think it's a community influence. I mean, uh, here uh, on Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Fallon, you know, there's so much giving back in this community. And you know, I mean, you're an example of that, right? Uh, this just this van, this show, is about giving back to the community, about highlighting. Uh, the great work that people are doing in this community right. and um, and I think you know part of it is my family absolutely and a lot of it is uh, our our district and our community that we grew up in now how many people like yourself do you know that are involved in politics the way you are and and maybe give us a little background of yeah well, your background in in the pol political world so yeah. far yeah well I know a fair amount of people um, Involved because I started out. I started out working for Elizabeth Warren um, uh, on her campaign. You I did? was down here last night. I love it. Down here. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, started out working for Elizabeth Warren and then went on to be Maura Healy's political director, our attorney general's political director, and then went into the attorney general's office and worked in civil rights and consumer protection uh, and helped people facing discrimination and housing. Uh, now, why are you? Why are you a Democrat and not? something different well I mean that's uh, I think the Democratic side is uh, more focused on social justice and economic justice and that's something that uh, has always um, that's something that I've always been really passionate about and making sure that everyone uh, gets a fair shot you know workers small businesses uh, have a level playing field and so that's kind of why I'm more on the Democratic side well, what do you what? How how do you define the other side? How how do you interpret yeah. Republicans and and how do you approach a Republican? Sure, and and look, I don't want to and I don't want to blanket all Republicans, you know, because I I know a lot of great Republicans. I'm friends with uh, a lot of Republicans, but you know, on a lot of social issues, I think Republicans have been on the wrong side of history when it comes to LGBT rights and marriage equality and the like when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, this trans bill that we just saw pass, or we're seeing going through our, our state house right now. I think they've been on the wrong side of that. 